welcome back folks in this movie i'm going to talk about a very very important and very very awesome feature that is place linked and that's really really cool you're gonna love it so what that is actually you can link your external files to this document and if you want to change anytime you can just go ahead and change that source file and it will automatically going to reflect it, that change to these all documents and that's really really nice and i'm going to show you right now how you can do that well i keep selected this one because it will going to place linked here i go to file and instead of placing embed i go to place linked and i click here now I'm going to bring my external file here, this one, this one, this one, the same file and it will link together by its source. If I need to do any changes, I can just go ahead and change that source file and it will automatically going to reflect here, changes here and that's really cool. So now for this demo, I'm going to use actually my type lock of logo. You will remember that that is editor logo. We have created in our, our new vision course. So you can see this is AI file and you can place AI file, image file, PST file, whatever you want. I'm going to use ai file because i'm going to make it change and i'm going to show you a very very awesome trick because this is a vector object it will going to scale it any big you want any tiny you want without losing any quality so i go ahead click this one and you are familiar with this one go ahead hit ok and now it will going to bring it here and that's really really nice so now what i do i just go ahead resize this to fit like this and i'm not going to like make it perspective because you know that how you can do that so but just i leave it same so this is just for demo purpose so that really doesn't matter here so i just hit enter or return in my keyboard it will going to reflect here and now what i do i just skip like this one i do the same thing go to file place link and same thing i do i go to type lockup i bring it here and okay and now i place it here you can't see this one don't worry we are going to edit it right now and now i do the same thing for this one i go to file i go to place link and bring that logo here there you go okay and there you go you can see this this is really uh, nice and i just place it here hit okay and guess what you have just created your logo in this business card this poster and this is big banner so now you decided that you don't like this one because because in this holding you can't see this color so you have to change it well you can do it very easily well for that you can go to file go to brace and now let's change the source file for that you can see the source file is this one okay so now open with illustrator and now it is going to open with illustrator and here what i do i just go ahead double click this one i just select this one and just make it change to be something like green for now and just go ahead hit ctrl s to save it and now it's saved and now i get back to photoshop and here you can see in photoshop this got changed because this is currently active and now click this one it will going to change because this is active and hit click this one and it, this one is two so now it is all active and now this got changed immediately because you have just changed the source file and really got reflected everywhere and that is really really cool so if you want to do any changes out there go ahead edit that source file and it will automatically going to reflect all over the place all of the document and that's really really amazing feature here's the most important thing you must need to remember that is if i just go ahead click this one I file and save as is somewhere I mean in desktop a uh, new project and I save here that is a uh, demo dot PST and I save it here and I just save it and close it and now what I do you can see there's just only two and now once again I back to Adobe Illustrator and I'm back to Illustrator and I just double click this one this one and I just go here and change it to be something like a blue for now this is for demo purpose so it really doesn't matter control s save it and let's get back to photoshop so here you can see i'm in photoshop and now it's got changed because it's currently active and now i click this one this has got changed so well now what about that third document well let me show you go to file go to open and here you can see that this is a place demo i just bring it up and now i just bring it here go to window arrange and tile vertically and now you can see this one press control zero now this is active and here you can see this is not get changed and this is why well because this is closed so how you can change it well just go ahead hit shift and tap you can see that yellow warning icon well that's showing that this document get modified so how you can update it well you can just right click this one and you can see update all modified content 
if I click this one and now you can see it's got updated and this is really really nice so this is how you can use placed linked feature and that is really really amazing so I highly recommend go ahead use it there's only one thing you must remember that if the source file is getting moved then we're going to affect this all source so just remember that keep that source file at the same place when you use that file at the time of linking here so this is really really amazing so go ahead and play with this place link feature that's really amazing so thank you so much and see you in the next movie